Alright, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, we do a whole pile of things. Which is unfortunate, because there's no save point in sight, so... I gotta do this all... beforehand. Quit. First thing, two down. Second thing, three down. Alright, so Shadow's equipped with his relic. Relic's, uh... Sabin. Equip. On the second slot, because he's already got what I want in the first. Three down, and exit. Equip. Optimize seven. And I know I can use the L and R buttons there, but... It just helps me keep track of my cursor when I don't. Too many weird things like that, and I start to mess things up more. Uh... Skills, item. And now let's move the cursor back up to shadow. I prefer to do that so I don't start forgetting where my cursor is. We'll pile it down right until I hit the dog. Which... Well, I guess maybe I can talk to the dog and actually get a notification. If this dog barks. I don't remember if it... Yep, it barks. One, two, one back because I was only supposed to go one there. Alright, so first it gives a dialogue, a line of dialogue saying, Erg, it won't open. And now I have to hit it. There we go, got it. I don't have to use the menu trick for uh, to find out when this cutscene ends, because I can just run up and hit the chest and open it and get my uh, whatever that is. I think it's a star pendant? Maybe way off there. Whatever it is, it's probably not all that useful, to be honest. So now I've walked out of the thing. Walk back to the left. Gotta line myself up with the ramp thing. Now I run up to the tent. Now I only have to go one right one, and I'm conveniently lined up to go through, like, everything now. So now I just gotta use the menu trick to determine when this cutscene is over. Telstar's the real pain in this segment. There's not a whole lot I can do to make this fight uh, too much better than it is. If I get tech lasered in the wrong spot, I mean, or confused in the wrong place, I can pretty much kiss the ring goodbye. There we go. Now I just gotta go left and down until I walk at that little thing. And now I just wait for Kefka to get in my face. Oh yeah, which one did I have set to player 2 and which one did I have set to player 1? I can't remember now. I should be able to check anyway, though. It's really not going to complicate anything. And in this fight with Kefka, all I'm going to do is beat the snot out of his face, so... By the way, one thing I never noticed before, the wooden cross to the left, like, uh, of where... I am now, it actually disappears when you go to the Magitek armor sequence. Never noticed that before this run. Alright, one step to the left. Yeah, so I managed to talk to Kefka and get his line. And then... yeah. 
So I'll talk to Kefka here, just to get him out of my way. Or well, just to get the conversation out of my way that has to happen. Oh right, but I forgot. I'm running into a box. <laughs> I forgot to take that step down there. Hello, Mr. Box. How's it going? You look like a waiter to me. And now for the pretty much deciding moment of this whole thing. Here we go! So, uh, player one is... Seven. Oh yeah, I was gonna remove him to the front row. Might as well do that now. Oh, seven made the... Shadow made the same noise? Oh, well, like I said before, it's not that hard to tell the difference. One blitzes and the other doesn't. That's pretty much all I need to know. That waste of a turn probably isn't that big a deal, because uh, Savin's just gonna be berserked and end up doing a bunch of nearly worthless physical attacks anyway. Oh yeah, that attack was probably Sab and not Telstar, so feel free to- that one was probably- actually, uh, I can't really know which order they did it in. They both have the same attack sound and- I'll just continue holding A. I- I know that, uh, if Shadow takes too many hits and dies, it could kill me, but at the same time- what? Did Tel Telstar can't have died already. Did I hit a soldier with my jerkin? Okay, Telstar did die already. I'm not gonna complain, of course, but I just remember that fight being somewhat longer. There's no way neither of them got hit, seriously? Am I messing up my healing somehow? One way to find out. Wow, that is uh, pretty lucky, I'll, I'll say the least on that. Now I just run up and right a bit. There we go. Here's a secret chest. This is one of the, like, last secrets I ever found out about. This stupid little chest right here. Doesn't even give me anything good, but... Alright, now, he now here's the annoying part. There is really no nice way to remember how to get through this part, so I had to practice this for a while. Like, it's all just a bunch of crammed things spatially, so it's hard to remember. Gotta go around that thing, around the railing, down to the other railing that's in my way, down to the boxes, take one step back, and now I gotta go see Kefka. Hello, Kefka! So 
now I just uh, shuriken some guys to the face or bolt some other guys to the face. I almost forgot to put in seven splits there. <laughs> Still in Telstar mode. But he's not Berserk here, so... I'm still a little bit worried that maybe I threw something good during that Telstar fight. Because that ended much faster than I expected. So yeah, now this one goes for a while. Thankfully, uh, some of the cutscenes in Doma take me through some of the areas that would be otherwise somewhat tricky. To the king, on the double! By on the double I mean on the half, really, because I'm running into a wall for like three seconds each time I move somewhere, but minor details. So now, uh, I don't need to use the menu trick here because when this cutscene ends, the music will give you a nice indicator, plus I'm just running straight down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm um, temporarily changing the music. I'm not 100% sure why. It's not like it suddenly became not a disaster, but I should be out by now. So now I just gotta run up until I grab this remedy, which I probably shouldn't have even bothered getting here, but... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm lined up with the door, so I go straight down. One, two, three, four. Now I go all the way up, and I line up nicely with the uh, science bedroom on a diagonal. So I made it. So far still no disasters unless if one happened that I am not aware of. And now Cyan gets super angry again with good reason, so I get my music change. I said with good reason, right? Not for no reason. That seems like the sort of stupid talking mistake I'd make. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's nice here because I just have to subtract two from the number each time I uh, get into a battle. I, I kind of try to... Now it's going 2p. Okay, I'm Shadow. That was probably a waste of my shuriken. I was, my plan was not to use shurikens during this battle and just have 
Shadow just defend because these fights are a lot easier and Cyan gets healed back every time, so I don't really care. So Cyan Shadow's 2P. So yeah, I, I generally try to look for numbers like that in the uh, walking segments when I'm trying to memorize numbers because it just makes it a little bit easier. All the time I spent not saying anything, and now I'm trying to cram everything in at once, and I messing it up and doing it intermittently. Good work, Shadow. <sighs> and Magitek Armor. It's nice to have a long stretch of battles in this LLG that doesn't involve me uh, dodging the XP. This is pretty- I think the only one I get, so... And that's not the ball game because there's still one left. Stupid overtime. Uh, one second. So, should I try to do something in the time he's gone? I guess I could at least skip through this cutscene. He'll be coming back in just a couple minutes, but... Hopefully this won't take too long, whatever it is, because, uh... I don't want to make, like, a 8 million gigabyte... ...file. Hello? Alright then, so uh, let's do the- there we go. So, now I'm out of the cutscene. Now I walk right and get straight into a battle. Yes, I do narrate it all the time like this. And now, if this is someone other than Cyan, I... Yeah, that had to be, but... If it's Cyan- I have to check if it's uh, Cyan or not, because his cursor will be on Magitek, and... Uh, everyone else's would be on items, so I don't want to throw away potions for no reason. One, two, all the way right to these boxes. Down. And now I get into the other fight. This one's just a whole day fest because, yeah, they suck. Thank you for the counterattack, much appreciated. In hindsight, maybe I should have uh, healed. Not that it really matters, probably. The chances of me actually having someone die and having to use a Phoenix down in these fights is pretty low. So I'm still on item. Yeah, tonic. Alright. So now I take one step to the right, because that just didn't bring me far enough for the little cutscene before I walked into the battle. Stupid, they couldn't put me one space farther over, it would've helped. Now I'm hitting this barrier. One space to the left. And battle number three. Yeah, I could hit 
a weakness with Bolt Beam, but that would pretty much just be doing random overkill for no reason whatsoever. Right one, and straight up and out of here. Yeah, yeah, stop talking. It doesn't even make sense in this version anyway. Oh wait, did I fail to take one step right? There we go. Yeah, I failed to take one step right. I guess I didn't push the button hard enough. Now they'll exit for me, and I'm done. I shouldn't have saved over that one. I still don't know if I accidentally threw a mythical pike or not. Until next time! Oh! Hello. Hi. Um, can I just see you in your I want to ask something to you. Uh, but I can't take this off because I'm doing a blindfolded challenge and, uh... What? I'm doing a blindfolded challenge of a game, so I can't take this off. And what do you mean a blindfolded challenge? I'm doing a game with my eyes closed. <sighs> and at low level, because it wouldn't be hard enough otherwise. Why are you doing that? Because it's fun, and I'm recording it for YouTube. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Like, am I on YouTube? I'll probably edit you out. <laughs> no guarantees. <laughs> Wait, can I come in right now? I just have one question. I broke my laptop. Sure, if you just want to ask, like, but I can't take this off. Okay, I'll get my laptop. Okay.